we're coming to you from Australia. And we want you to become premium members on churchmilitant.tv. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, we're coming to you from Australia. And we want you to become premium members on churchmilton.tv. Okay. Hello, we're coming to you from Australia. And we want you to become premium members on churchmilton.tv. Okay, so sign up today. Yes! <laughs> Hello, I'm Rebecca Fabina. Michael Miller is on a shoot today. Here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. This morning, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled in favor of Hobby Lobby 5-4 in the HHS mandate dispute, stating they can't be forced to supply potentially abortion-inducing drugs to their employees. Justice Samuel Alito wrote the majority opinion, which says the Religious Freedom Restoration Act lets closely held corporations like Hobby Lobby to keep their religious outlook and continue to do business. Nonprofit groups such as Priests for Life and Little Sisters are still awaiting a ruling about their right to opt out of the HHS mandate. It was one of two final rulings that came in this morning, the other limiting the ability of unions to collect dues from home health care workers. In other news, the Bishop of, the, of Australia's military is being charged with a sex offense, which occurred back in 1969. Bishop Max Davis is set to appear in court July 25th and will be charged with three counts of indecent treatment of a child under 14. His Excellency is believed to be the highest ranking clergy to be charged with a sex offense to date. Pope Francis canceled a visit to a hospital in Rome on Friday, as well as with the medical facility at the Catholic University of Sacred Heart, located inside the hospital. The Vatican issued a statement simply saying our Holy Father would be unable to visit Gamelli Hospital due to a sudden indisposition. A Catholic movement originating in Buffalo, New York, spread to Detroit this past Sunday. A movement called Mass Mobs began on social media as a way to bring people back to Mass and to highlight the city's historic churches. The Detroit Mass Mob took place at St. Joseph's on J Street. Over 800 people attended Sunday morning Mass. The next Detroit Mass Mob will be held at 10 a.m. on July 13th at Sweetest Heart of Mary Catholic Church. We have included the address and details on our resource page. I'm Rebecca Fabina. Those are your headlines from churchmillicent.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks about no church, no Jesus. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends, and may God bless you. Hi there, churchmilitant.tv supporters. I'm Michael Voris. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. If you or someone you know is looking to sell or buy a home or a commercial property anywhere in the world, there's an amazing organization called Real Estate for Life that you should definitely check out. Real Estate for Life generously donates an average of $1,000 to churchmilitant.tv every time a home sale closes. It's a great way to support us here at CMTV. And don't forget, this comes at absolutely no cost to you. So please call or email Real Estate for Life today. All the information you need is in the description box. Michael Voris along with Rebecca Hasenauer for churchmilton.tv. God love you.